Welcome to the Vehicle Crush 3D Modeling Automatic Measurement Tutorial. Camera settings for imaging in Eyewitness Pro. We recommend a digital SLR camera used with Eyewitness Pro. Set the lens to manual focus and focus the lens to infinity. Never focus or zoom the lens. We recommend ISO of 200 to 400. 400 works well, especially with handheld camera imaging. Always use the camera flash. Your best to shoot the images in aperture priority between f5.6 and f18. The goal in your imaging is to underexpose the codes a couple of f-stops. You can also adjust via setting the ISO a little slower or faster in speed. It is important the codes are not overexposed. Shoot the images in highest resolution JPEG. Always take the pictures alternating, manually rotating, the camera in landscape and portrait orientation. It is not necessary that it is 50% all landscape and 50% portrait, but try your best to assure there is plenty of role diversity. If the camera has auto rotate, make sure it is off. Acquiring the images. The Eyewitness Pro codes need to be randomly distributed in the lens field of view. Eyewitness Pro requires at least five codes measured per image in order to automatically orient the camera's aim point and to automatically measure red dot targets. You can also natural feature mark two in Eyewitness Pro. Fill the viewfinder with the object to be measured. In other words, your feet are the camera's zoom. Accurately measure the distance between two features, preferably two sets of measured features, for photogrammetric scaling. If you plan on exporting the 3D model to CAD, you should also plan on measuring three points that will define the coordinate system. In this tutorial, we selected three of the four wheel hubs for the eyewitness process called 321 that assigns a new coordinate system from the originally assigned free network coordinate system. Each code and optionally red dot targeted feature point should be imaged with at least four different camera positions. Take more pictures than less as the 3D measurement process is fully automatic. It is better to have more rather than less camera observations of each 3D point of interest. Import the images into Eyewitness Pro. Here's a list of the process actions to follow in this tutorial. Import the images, file and import images. In the image browser, path to your working folder and click the double right arrow. You can optionally create a unique ID for your camera. Double click the camera icon and select unique ID. For this tutorial, we are just going to use the default camera description. Double click on one of the image thumbnails and then click the Q key on your keyboard. Click the Optimize button and then click OK. Click the R++ in the toolbar and click Begin. The images are now automatically oriented in 3D object space as well as the red dot targets are automatically triangulated to 3D object points. Now is an appropriate time to save the project. Click File and Save and give it a name.
blind scale and assigning a coordinate system. In this project, we measured 78 inches between two red dots on the right side of the car. Right mouse click and select Scale, and then highlight the two points to apply the scale. To assign the coordinate system, we selected three points on the wheel hubs, and right click and select the 3 to 1 feature. Other options include using the Line tool. You can connect lines between the red dot 3D points, or you can use the Facet Form Polyline tool to trace the 3D geometry which we will illustrate in the next portion of the video. Hold the control key down and select the two scale distance points. Right click and enter the distance in the scale menu and click apply. Then click close. To DXF export, click the 3D list. Click the DXF button, followed by clicking the OK. Enter a name for the DXF. The project is now complete. Thanks for watching.